Hey, what's up guys? Josh here, and I'm finally back from my two-week trip. Uh, so again, sorry for not uploading in quite some time, but we're just going to skip all that and get right into it for our quick tip of the week. So this quick tip is how to make a glass effect. I find it really, uh, really interesting, and I think it's pretty cool what you can do with it. So I already have my render that I'm going to be using, and my background, which this is 1280 by 720. So I'm just going to select my render, and I'm going to go to Filter, Artistic, and then I'm going to go to... All right, so when you go into Artistic, you're going to have to click on one of them. So I'm going to just click on Dry Brush, OK? So now you're going to go over to this Dropbox right here, and then you're going to go to gl uh, Glass, OK? So this is how I found it, and I think it's an easy way to find it. So this, you have to really play around with. Uh, depends on what your liking is. So the smoothest will pretty much take it away if you put it to 15, and then pretty much look like it's really grainy uh, to one so you have to find a good sort of in between and it just all depends on to your on your liking so distortion uh, you can't really it sort of looks more shattered all the way to 20 and then just pretty much nothing when it's at zero so again you have to make to your liking okay so texture I left it at frosted to get this effect and then the scaling the scaling is sort of weird, it's just just get it to your liking, and it, it's a really easy uh, tool. You just mess around with it a lot uh, and just see how, just see what you can create. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did uh, like this, then please do remember to leave a like, a comment, and guys, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Adobe, After Effects, and Cinema 4D, please do subscribe. Thank you guys, and have a good day.